Australian if you don't recognise this. You should recognise this, it's iconic. This is Craig's Hut in the Victorian High Country. And if you want to see how we got here, then you better check out the rest of the episode. So we'll see you there on the tracks. Well, good morning. We spent the last two nights at La Cola and we're getting ready to move out. The groups, some of them had cabins, some of them, like us, camped. <laughs> There's the two cabins they had. <laughs> we got match, we got match, oh, how matching are they? The mighty Triton shirt. <laughs> well, that's something for them, yeah, okay. Uh, there you go, poor old, un unfortunately we have to leave Matt and Kath today because they've got to cut their damages with them Adam, and get out of there. Adam, with me, mate. Oh, you know what I meant. <laughs> it's morning. <laughs> Adam yes. and Kath. Can Hi. never forget Kath funnily enough. Yeah, Adam, well he's a bit forgettable. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So these guys unfortunately have to go. And the rest of us will continue on. So we're going to say our goodbyes. You don't need to see that. And we'll catch up with you. We're the mod. No, it looks a bit scary, doesn't it, eh? Yeah, you match it. Matt and Kerry. I remember them this time. If you do need to stay at Lakala, the park at the back of the general store is quite nice. It's not very big, but it's beautiful and grassy. You're a very short look at it. So they usually wander around caravan parks and that kind of stuff and accommodation. There's your amenities block. There's quite a few permanent vans on site. But there's all this lovely grass. The powered sites we were on, which obviously we're not on now, are up here. There's four of them. One's a little bit smaller, it's under a tree. And those ones are just sort of there. They've got bunk houses, and as I said, a few more vans sitting around. How's the marlin going? Well, it's covered in dirt and dust and mud. It's generally going okay. I've, for reasons unknown at this stage, lost power from my electric water pump. Nothing. Don't know what's going on there. Got a hand pump, so it doesn't matter. Everything else has been good. It's survived absolutely flogging. But uh, really has been belted. As you can see, the car is pretty grotty. So everything is pretty grotty. But this trailer has stood up to it. I've lost both plugs out of the. Uh, tow bar a couple of times just been over pulled I think uh, I've had to replace the Anderson plug on the Anderson lead and the trailer plug itself is not well either so I'm probably gonna have to get a new one of those I'll put that on for Steve before I take it back but other than that the camper has been going really well all right we're gonna get organized get out of the cola and gonna work our way up towards Jamison and up into the mountains again and back to free camping but we really needed those two nights here after the uh, mega recovery we had to do on that hill hey right, guys we'll see you in a while station tracks it's called a road it's target creek road we've left la cola and normally there's a major road that takes you up to jamison but um apparently there's been a tree fallen or something somewhere up the mountains that road's closed you have to go this way but this is pretty cool it's all scenic going through some cattle properties and stuff like that it's quite nice it uh, just shows that uh You've got to keep uh, fluid and moving around and be happy to change your uh, your tracks and so on. So 
Also helps to talk to the locals, which you did last night. Yeah. Darren, who runs the uh, Lacola General Store and the, uh, the the little caravan park behind it, is a wealth of information. So I would suggest that if you come to Lacola when you're in the high country, and pretty well everyone does at some stage, uh, have a chat to uh, Darren, I can't remember his wife's name, uh, at the shop, and they'll be able to give you the info on the local tracks, some of the harder tracks. Just uh, stop for a little bit. All of that stuff, so. Anyway, all good. We'll show you a bit more a little bit later in the day. amongst all these wildflowers so I oh, can't you just keep putting on little little shows for us haven't been able to get a lot of the actual big sweeping scenery over the mountains because we've been on these sides of the ridges so we've got trees on sort of both sides got some interesting stuff going on here so I thought I'd give you a quick look at that Are the roads less travelled? We've not seen another vehicle today. And on this particular road, there's like countless places you can push can. I've seen so many spots where if you're into the afternoon and you drive along this track, you can pull over and do a camp. And not all of them are right next to the track, some of them you can find. Yeah, pretty easily driving off it. But uh, bush camping opportunities certainly on this road are uh, frequent. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure the rest of the country has got a lot of bush camping opportunities. But uh, definitely on this road there's plenty. Well, I thought I'd show you a little bit of footage of the camper trailer in action even though I'm not on the roughest tracks here because it was just about impossible to film it on the hard hard tracks just to show you how stable these things are now, I'm not going to bore you with it for very long but it's surprising to me exactly how well it sits behind the truck anyway that's probably enough of it already so uh, we'll move along again Where'd you go? Bumpy as shit, right? All right, we've arrived at the historic gold mining town of Woods Point, and it is only a small little place, but it's pretty iconic in the high country. This is the commercial hotel which today is closed, but that's just the joy of it. This is the state of the cars after the dusty drive down. They're all looking pretty, pretty dusty. So, there's a little general store down here. And we've got the old golden police survey that everybody gets a photo of just down the road there and we too will get a photo down there shortly uh, just a little historic town 
So we'll go for a quick walk and have a look at it. A lot of gold mined here over the years. Some classic style buildings. Not even sure what they all were. Little creek flowing under this bridge, Morning Star Creek. Information board up here. It's even a phone box. Men's and women's toilets, which is probably handy by the time we get out this far out in the scrub. It's all your map and stuff, check your fuel. Uh, it's a pretty major map. Shows you the whole region. And this is the place that everybody comes to to get that iconic picture at the old server. We mostly pull up here for this pump. <laughs> Get a load of it. What a classic. There's an old winch from mining days. Picnic table. It's just a very old historic area. So, obviously, if you're in the high country, you really do need to come for a wander to Woods Point and check it out. Flies are friendly too. I'll be getting the obligatory still shots near the pump in due course. We'll see you in a while. Woods Point. This will be hard to read, so I'll give you a quick read of it. Sorry if it looks a bit dull on the camera. After the gold was discovered in Gaffney's Creek area in 1859, hopeful miners slowly travelled up the Goulburn River in search of new finds. In February 1861, William Gooley set out from Jamison with two hired men, five pack horses, to work their way upstream. After three months of hard unremitting toil, two of the hands had left and three of the horses had died. Gooley decided to continue alone. In May of that same year, Gooley found traces of alluvial gold in a creek about two miles downstream of where Woods Point stands today. That creek now bears his name. He pegged out three claims and returned to Jameson to register them. But on returning to his claims, he found they'd been jumped and eventually appeared before a select committee of legislative council for justice. Within many months, miners rushed to the area to try their luck with alluvial gold fields at the top of Goulburn River. In May 1861, Joseph Corey and Ditmar Bahrains, after staking a claim at the foot of a creek, now called Morningstar Creek, we're exploring the area where Corey discovered quartz studded with gold lying on the ground. By well, July 1861, Corey Brevins and a member of another local mining family, the McDougalls, proceeded to establish what is now known as the Morning Star Mine, one of Victoria's richest gold mines. Small stuff in there, but I reckon you got the gist of it. So there you go. One of the biggest gold mines in the state. Or richest gold mines in the state of Victoria it was here at Woods Point, and now you know as much as I know. And now, of course, the shot that everybody wants parked in front of the old server. How's that for a bowser? Woods Point.
Kai Country, Victoria. Unfortunately, we're about to lose Matt and Kerry because Matt's leaf springs have had enough. And that's probably the result of dragging a lot of weight up a hill, but yeah, that happens. So, unfortunately, they're going to pull the pin on us too, but uh, that's how it goes. So, Matt and Kerry will be on their way and it'll be just us and this man the alpine adventurer himself and then there were two yeah, and then there were two anyhow that's how that goes sometimes so uh, we'll show you what else we can in due course well we made it down to granny's flat reserve campground which is maybe 20 k's out of jamison we drove across a whole bunch of high country ranges and mountains today and it looked really good and we've done our camp now as you would have seen we've lost some more members so literally now it's down to the two cruisers and the marlin so there you have it it's just us now so anyway that's camp for this evening now here's the trailer fairing. The trailer's fairing very well. It is letting some dust in around the kitchen. Now I've wiped it all off today, so there's no point in me showing you too much. We've got the Weber out. We're going to do some Weber queuing this evening. So that's how we're rolling here. But uh, oh, and I've had a number plate light get smashed off. I don't know how. Anyway, that's gone. It works, but it's not shining a number plate. So it'll be repaired when I get home. Anyhow, that's uh, the joys of it, obviously, throwing a rock up at it or something. So that's what we're up to this stage. Anyhow, we will show you some more as I can show you more. Now, as I said earlier in the trip, it's not the full-on forward driving video generally that you see from the high country so i hope you're not minding it but uh oh tomorrow we're heading down through this river crossing and heading up uh, to some falls somewhere else i can't think of a name of them i'm sorry and uh yeah work our way up into the mountains again so River crossing is just down here. That should be a bit of fun too. We're in the Jamison State Forest. So that's the river crossing just down here. So hopefully I'll uh, get a little bit of footage of, of us doing something with that tomorrow. All right, talk to you soon. Day 10 started out beautifully and as you can see we decided we would cross that creek and drive up the mountain but um, the mountain turned out to be harder than we thought so we wound up coming back down and going a different way but uh, anyhow that's the joys of uh, exploring so uh, not a lot of talking going on in this bit, just some uh, pretty water crossing. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, then we'll get back into the rest of it.
go just after water crossing and it's only up it's all up from here apparently in fact it's quite steep so have a camper on so we might lay arrange this just to be sure Call me wide-eyed, simple-minded I've been blinded I'm on a merry-go-round I got this fever, baby Going through my body I feel like shaking the ground mm -hmm. Call me lovesick Like I bother There's no other I'd beg, borrow, and steal I wanna do right by you can't you see I'm hurting the way Oh, not too far to go now, Kaz. No, it's not too far now. I've been playing on these hills up and down, up and down, all day. Yeah, it's been quite good. Yeah. On the Clear Hills track now, so we're not too far from Craig's hut. We think. Every time, can't you see? Step, I wonder if only you'd understand Cause my heart breaks oh, Well, this is the ground. What does that mean? I'll show you. Well, that there is what we've come to buy country to see. It's not the only thing. <laughs> no, not true. It's not the only thing. <laughs> We're at Craig's hut. So, we have done it. We'll give you a little bit more of a look in just a moment. That's the hut. And have a look at the view. Here we go. That's the view. Isn't that beautiful? Himself, young Tony. <laughs> or is it old Tony? Could be old Tony. So we've made it. There's Janice looking glamorous as always. As always. But only she does it. Day after day. And she puts up a Tony in everything. section from the Mantra of Snowy River from the pole. Very cool. That's the hut from the outside. Now go for a lap around it. Now I'm pretty sure most Aussies are aware that this is not an authentic Australian Bushman's hut. This is a movie set. It was built for the movie The Man from Snowy River. Because realistically, cattlemen up here would not 
a foot of heart on a big exposed bald empty looking block of land where it's all exposed out to the weather but for a movie it's awesome have a look at the view so why wouldn't you and it's burned down a couple of times but it's been rebuilt because it's just one of those places you have to see when you come to the high country so that's a very brief very brief story about the the hutty so if you're in the high country i'd suggest you come and check this out for yourself because it's well worth it it's a good four wheel drive trip to get up here it's not stupidly hard it's just a like, bit of low range if you're towing a trailer like us but uh high range probably if you're not towing so it's just a nice spot it's very popular chances of you ever getting up here without many people around are pretty slim but that's the price you pay if we come into the iconic spots so we'll wander back now probably have a bit of lunch maybe and then think of what's next Up here at Craig's Hut, we are on Tungurung country. So there you go, that's the indigenous people of the area. Tungurung. If I'm getting it wrong, well, I'm not real clever. Anyway, that's all the boards that tell you about what's going on around this general area. Sure, most of that's Googleable. Is that a word? Is that a word? Googleable. Anyway. So there's all sorts of stuff goes on around here. There's hikes and we just watched a helicopter take off from here. It flew up. Obviously, they've had lunch. And then they're flying off again. How's that? Anyhow, not sure what we're up to next, but whatever it is, we're going to do it. Well, here we are guys at the last campground of our official trip we're calling it done here so there's our camp a little bit different tonight put the truck in front of the what the behind the trailer so we can go to and from from the living area tony genesis camp so uh, we're pretty well done other than to just hang out and be sociable which of course is what we're here for in the first place Janice is sporting the new I'm going to get covered in a curtain look <laughs> you don't see this every day highly effective against yeah. our local flying residents yeah. it doesn't improve her look to be honest <laughs> she's much better looking about that Tony on the other hand if he had that on he would be better looking so Anyway, while I'm at the back of Tony and Genesis' truck, I'm putting him on the spot. They were not expecting this. Uh -huh. I just thought I'd quickly drop in here and say thanks to Tony and Janice for hosting this trip. It's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty close to it, isn't it? <laughs> Tomorrow we're all separating, so it's pretty well over, guys. So uh, thanks again to Tony. All Tony's info is, will be in the description if you want to get in touch with him and you want to come down to the high country. Uh, see where you go there. And Janice, well, she's just a legend anyway. <laughs> Has been for as long as I've known her. Especially with that look, eh? How good does she look, guys? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, thanks again to Tony and Janice for looking after us. And uh, we'll be back with them again 
for another trip down here to the high country because we didn't get to do some stuff we wanted to do, which is my fault. Yep, my fault, I'm towing a camper trailer. <laughs> if I wasn't towing a camper trailer, then we could have done some harder tracks. So blame me, it's not Tony's fault. Anyway, that'll do me for covering this little bit of our trip and we shall see you just that little bit later. Have a good one. Well, we've arrived at Pineapple Flat Campground and this is going to be the last official night of this trip. Tony and Janice have to head off tomorrow to go home so uh, we're going to call it here. So it's a beautiful place which you'll see in a separate clip and we've had a great time running around the Victorian high country with Tony from our Pine Adventurers. Uh, I think he's off having a swim so I can't get him to say goodbye to you so sorry guys uh, just take my word for it. He's here and swimming or sinking, drowning, who knows? Doesn't matter. Whatever. If he drowns, Kaz wants to steal his car. Go figure. Anyway, doesn't matter. So uh, we're going to pull the trip here. That's the end of it. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, this one is the tracks less travelled with just a few of the uh, more commonly driven places in the, in the trip as well but mostly we've done the uh, tracks less travelled so uh, uh, to everybody here thanks for watching see she gets it sometimes <laughs> if you're new here consider subscribing if you do subscribe click the notification bell you'll know when a new clip comes up and if you old hands Thanks again, as always, for watching one of our clips, taking the time out of your day to watch one of our clips. We really do appreciate the support. Uh, it means the world to us. And like we have like to say here at Mud Ducks 4-Wheel Drive Touring, just get out there, enjoy the bush, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers from Steve. Cheers from Cass. Thank you. Catch you later. Cheers, guys. End of the trip. Clink. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I just am. Um... You gonna kill another fly? Don't eat them. Don't eat them. Don't eat them? No, definitely not They're eat them. They're not good for you. They're not good for you. Even if they are 98% protein and 2% shit, don't eat them. They're huge. Look how big this one is. Seriously, they're bigger than my ego. Oh shit, the camera's still on. <laughs> Another one dead. <laughs>